For some of us, our lifestyle or workload demands more. What we need and expect out of our equipment is likely to cause the average truck bumper to fail. We need ground clearance, approach angles, recovery points, and we need to be winch ready. The Warren industry engineers in Clackamas, Oregon have designed and tested the Ascent bumper specifically for those of us who need and demand more from our equipment. Today, we're going to look at the step-by-step -step instructions on how to install the front and rear Ascent bumper. Your hardware comes in a large bag. It's a good idea to break it out and organize your hardware before you get started. Remove the license plate. Remove plastic shrouds that cover the eight mounting bolts. Remove the eight bolts. If equipped, unplug the block heater harness located behind the passenger fender well splash shield. Unclip the connector from the frame rail and move it aside. Unplug the fog lamp harness connector located on the driver's side frame rail. Remove the two bumper brace bolts from the frame. Repeat on the other side. With assistance, remove the stock bumper. Remove the eight tow hook bolts. Remove tow hooks. If equipped, remove the four under ride bar nut plates. Install frame brackets left and right. Please note, the brackets are not symmetrical. Check exploded view for proper orientation. Use four 5811 bolts, washers, lock washers, and nuts on the outside of each bracket. Repeat for the other side. Use two half inch 13 by one three quarters bolts, washers, lock washers, and nuts on top of each bracket. Repeat for the other side. It may be necessary to lightly tap the frame bracket into place. Be very careful not to damage any vehicle parts while installing the brackets. Intercoolers and hoses are close to the brackets, so take care as to not damage, kink, or cut the hoses during installation. Protect any tubes or wires near brackets from rubbing on brackets or fasteners. With assistance, place the bumper in position and secure it to the frame bracket with the four half inch 13 by two inch bolts, washers, lock washers, and nuts. It may be necessary to use a combination of spacers and to center the bumper or fill space between the frame brackets and bumper. For the two lower holes, use a 716 by two inch bolts, washers, lock washers, and nuts to fasten the bumper to the frame brackets. Repeat for the other side. Refer to the exploded view on page three of your instructions. See page two to torque fasteners to specific torques. Reconnect any disconnected wiring. Double check that all mounting hardware for the frame brackets and bumper are at their proper torque or the factory torque. If square light pods are being installed, cut out molded panels from the light bezels. Openings are compatible with many commonly available LED light pods. While holding the light bracket in place, line up the light bezel through the front bumper light port to the bracket. Secure pieces together with 10 stainless steel socket head screws. Review the exploded view. Reinstall license plate. Installation is now complete. And now for your instructions on the worn rear ascent bumper installation. If equipped, unplug the trailer plug and backup sensor harness. Remove the two bumper support bolts from the hitch. Remove the four bumper nuts, there are two on each side, and set them aside for later when you need them for the reinstall. With assistance, remove the bumper. Install support brackets over existing bumper studs. Secure using the nuts previously removed. Refer to exploded view on your provided instructions. Repeat for the other side. With assistance, install the rear bumper over the support brackets. Secure bumper to support brackets with eight carrier bolts, four on each side. Install housings into the corresponding side of the new bumper. Remove the trailer harness receptacle from the existing bumper by squeezing together the two metal retaining arms and reinstalling it into the new bumper in the appropriate location. Remove the spare tire lock from the existing bumper while using the vehicle's key. Insert into the new bumper and lock it into place. If equipped, remove the four backup sensors and retainers from the existing bumper. To remove the sensor from the retainer, pry apart the sides of the retainer while simultaneously pulling the sensor. Make sure you keep the small rubber grommet from the sensor face as it'll be reused. To remove the retainer, squeeze the retaining clips on either side of it and then push it out from the bumper. 
Install retainer SNA sensors into corresponding position in new bumper. Note, if your vehicle did not come equipped with the rear sensors, use the supplied plugs to cover the sensor locations. Remove wiring harness from the existing bumper. Install harness into new bumper in the same orientation. Cable ties are provided to attach to mounting brackets and bumper. Reconnect any disconnected wiring. Double check that all mounting hardware for the frame brackets and bumper are at their proper torque or the factory torque. If square light pods are being installed, cut out the molded panel from the light bezels. Openings are compatible with many common available LED light pods. Install the eight panel nuts over the light bezel holes and the light cutout. Install the light bezels and secure them using the stainless hardware provided in your kit. Installation is now complete. To order your Ascent bumper, simply go to warn.com. At the top of the page, you'll find the Where to Buy tab. From there, you can find an authorized red letter dealer, an authorized online retailer, or locate a Warn service center near you. For any other questions, email us at cs at warn.com or call 800-543-9276. Quality products you can depend on. That's the Warn difference.